was inspired by the events of the past year and I decided to try to grow bacteria at home. These plates are called Petri dish and can be purchased from a laboratory or from the internet. I will use a city liner to split the circle into triangular sections. Each section will have a number. Now get some clean cotton swabs and let's collect our samples. The first sample will be from the door's handle. You need to rub the cotton swab onto the surface. Now open the cover and gently rub the swab onto the jelly-like substance on the bottom of the petri dish. It's called agar or agar agar or nutrient agar. You can buy it from the bio stores and make your own petri dish. The second sample is from the fridge's handle. The third sample is from my toilet. And of course from my computer's mouse. And the last sample is from my phone. So now let's see how they will grow up. Tell me in the comments, am I the only one who thinks that the toilet is cleaner than the mouse and the fridge? Then I decided to try with a coin. So I stick the coin to a ball of scotch tape and press it onto the bottom of the petri dish. and now with my fingers. Here you can see all of them again. It turned out to be a very interesting experiment. Now let's kill the colonies. Before disposing of the petri dish, pour bleach over it and wait for the bacteria to die. searched a lot on the internet and it's actually quite difficult to identify the bacteria. In order to identify bacteria, their shape, size, structure, color, transparency and many other factors must be considered. Finally, put the petri dish into a Ziploc bag and throw it in the recycle bin.